Hello and welcome to the Yes 3 Beds website. At this part of the talk we want to talk about sizes and prices. Uh, yes, vertical floor reed beds can work on 100 litres per square metre per day. People are listed as, as needing 180 litres, producing 180 litres of wastewater per person per day. Sometimes you get planners you, where they find a house with four or five bedrooms and they'll count the number of bedrooms and two people per bedroom so you could have eight people there, you could have ten people there. But sometimes you actually have only two or three people living in a house that could occupy many more. So between the two you have to find a balance that's, that's right for doing the right size. Um, we have built a, a system for a hotel with the, that's a wedding venue. As you can imagine, on a weekend, the amount of water used when all these weddings going on is, is huge. And during the week, it'd be very quiet. So we do have to build for the maximum daily flow. Uh, the typical size reed bed for a household can be 10 square meters. Um, as you get larger systems, uh, you can go up to 100 square meters, and that can, for a caravan site, for instance, can filter effectively the water from a hundred people. With our reed beds they're built uh, as a top bed and a bottom bed. And when it comes to larger systems, instead of having one single system, we cut it into parallel systems. So for instance a hundred square meters will be a top bed of fifty square meters, bottom bed of fifty square meters. But two hundred systems will be two of them parallel systems. We have a caravan site where we've got five parallel systems, each of 100 square meters each. So if there's a problem, it goes wrong in one of them beds, either the top bed or the bottom bed, and it doesn't affect the, the whole system. The rest of the system can carry on if should there be a problem. Um, problems can be the, the reed, reed beds are flooded because there's too much water getting in from somewhere, or some sludge or oil or some muck gets on fats can smother the reed beds. So it's really more of an operation problem than a, a design fault. Um, we've built reed beds for single houses, for groups of houses. We've built them for caravan sites, for campsites. Uh, we've built them for golf clubs, for the washdown of the vehicles. We've built them for factories. We've built them for fruit farms where there's seasonal fruit pickers. We've built them for mine waters, for quarries. We've built them for railway runoff. We've built them from the M25. All our prices, uh, exactly as it is, in the ground and working, including VAT. On occasion, when a customer has, is a builder and have their own digger and they can supply their own gravel, the cost of that comes off the price that we quote, because the price we quote includes all of that stuff. So have a look at the photographs of how it looks when it's first established, when it becomes really established, like this. Have a look what it looks like in winter, what it looks like in summer. Have a look at how clean it's clean, with the pictures of how clean it is, and also the data showing how clean it is. These reed beds work all year round, and uh, these Phragmites australis, it's just a wonderful plant. You need to give them a hug from time to time just to say thank you, Fragmites Australis, for working so hard year after year after.